half, uh, Michael Zwick. And our product is Delish. And first of all, I want to tell you guys a little bit about TV dinners and <coughs> what people traditionally think of them as. And so most people think of TV dinners as something like this or something like this. And usually they're meals that are microwavable or they're frozen. And they associate it with words like unhealthy, salty, unnatural, chemicals, high preservatives, and last of all, laziness. And what was most important to us is that we didn't want to target the lazy person. <laughs> we wanted to target the person who was proactive, adventurous, and just didn't have enough time to sit down for an hour to eat their meal. And so what we found out was that less people were doing this, eating three meals a day, three standard meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and they were eating more around the clock, snacking on smaller meals. And so it led us to create an in-between meal. And thus we created Delish, the in-between meal. What is Delish? Delish is, fresh, is all fresh ingredients. Um, the ingredients are listed on the label because there's very few because they're all natural. It's in a um, convenient glass jar that's easy to travel. You can eat it as you go. You can eat it at your work. You can eat it at home. Our first meal is called Get Started that features protein, just chill, and then power on. Why? This, our delicious golden circle is do what you love and eat along the way. How? By giving you control to just live your life. What? A meal in between meals that takes out all of the guesswork because it's pre-made for you. Our product is located at high health and high convenience as opposed to other meals like lean cuisine that's a little higher in health but not as convenient because you have the microwavable time or somewhere like a sit down restaurant at CBK which is associated with healthy but at the same time you have to sit at a restaurant and take that time. Okay, specifically our target market is age 22 to 40 uh, professionals. Um, who are active, lively people, both male and female. Uh, when we conducted research amongst this market segment, we found two major uh, insights. First, that 77% of those surveyed <coughs> feel that they are health conscious when it comes to the food they consume. So they always keep an active eye on their diet and what exactly, what type of food they're putting into their bodies. The second major insight we found was that in a given week, they purchase 6.5 pre-made meals. So that is to say almost once a day, they're preparing a meal uh, or they're purchasing a meal that they didn't prepare themselves within their home kitchen. Um, and we believe this to be a huge sales opportunity for our product uh, because our product can satisfy that aspect of their life. Uh, to give you guys a clearer picture of who, exactly who our target market is, uh, this is Annika. She's in her 20s. Uh, she likes to stay active. She wakes up in the morning. She goes runs on the beach on the weekends for fun. She also attends yoga classes. Uh, she consumes her news. Uh, she gets her news through, a flip, through the Flipboard application. It lets her choose exactly what she's interested in news, what topics, <coughs> and also, <coughs> excuse me, uh, the sources. And it allows it all to merge into one single space while connecting to her social media, which is she's a busy person. She doesn't have all the time to like look around for all these different aspects of her life. She needs it in one spot. Like I said, she's a busy person. She works at the Style Network. Uh, we know that the fashion industry is very, very fast paced. Uh, she likes to stay um, on trend with the, with the top fashions of the season. Uh, she enjoys going out and experiencing, experiencing new ambiences. Uh, like if there's a new bar that opens up down the street, she'll go check it out with her friends. And it wouldn't be a surprise to catch her at an art show on a Friday or a Saturday night. So we just wanted to explain to you guys a little bit about the mood of our brand. Basically, we framed our product around the idea of adventure and living your life to the fullest. We wanted to encourage people to do more things and be able to take back their lives. And so we um, incorporated a sense of transparency as well as um, nature and organic and an organic feel. So what's our campaign? So we're trying to find the words or describe what our brand is. And we came up with Mix Right, Live Right, which is our overarching, um, our, our theme of transitioning from the lazy to the proactive person. And also, honestly, it, it plays. Oops, sorry, we're back. Uh, it plays on our actual brand of mixing greens, and also plays on our overall brand image of having a mixed lifestyle, of having a balance between career, your passion, your health, um, 
And we understand that it's not just a nine to five these days for people with three meals a day. We, we, we know that it's a seven to 10 day with you know, activities involved before and after work and then trying to have those five small meals in between. So with that, we're gonna roll out with the blogger event where we'll invite prominent lifestyle bloggers to come and try our product and sit down. And we hope that these people will help publicize our product. Then we're also going to have a Tumblr page where we'll showcase some of these prominent bloggers and then also create our own content. Okay, so on to our, uh, our video creative. Um, so we decided to stray away from the traditional 30 second TV spots, minute spots. And we wanted to create something original for our product. So we decided to come up with uh, webisodes. And what these webisodes will entail are day-to-day uh, -day lives of specific people that we choose so they have unique uh, passions, they have um, just something about them that's just different. And so what this webisode series we call it is 11 days. We have a production crew follow whoever we choose to follow for 11 days and it'll be bi-monthly 10 to 15 minute videos which will be posted on Facebook, um, social media sites. We've created a short 30 second uh, trailer for our next webisode. So what this website will entail is this is a 22-year-old young professional surfer named Dane Zahn from Los Angeles. Um, and so he'll have webisodes based on his life, his social, his health style, his um, everyday life, in, including his passion that he has, which is professional surfing. Um, and so why we thought this would be important is that instead of just having these 30-second spots where people kind of see and like, oh, that's kind of cool, um, maybe you share it with a friend. So we're going to have a series where you follow these people and watch their life for 10 to 15 minutes. And it is just normal people with exceptional passions. Um, so people can kind of get involved with this character and grow with the character and, and have reason to come back to watch these videos and visit our social media sites instead of just seeing one 30 second spot. And so for the next to give you an idea, this is the, uh, episode one, which would be bi-monthly, um, 10 to 15 minutes each. And then for the next month, uh, we would feature a professional rock climber, and she's unsponsored. She, um, she's currently 20 years old, so it's gonna be, give you an idea of what our next uh, series would be about. Okay, for our print ad, just like our video series, we wanted to do something a little bit different, differently. Uh, normally in print ads for food, they're just glamour shots of the food itself. So all the ingredients are sprinkled perfectly uh, with just the right amount of seasoning or sauce lathered on top. And that's fine, but we feel like that's been done so many times it doesn't pop off the page anymore to the, to the consumer, to the reader. Um, and within one magazine there might be a couple ads just like that. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to incorporate into our print ad besides our food ingredients some other aspect that our product has to offer like how it can save time so that you can make the concert, your favorite, your favorite bands on concert on time and not miss that first or second song, or even take the list with you uh, if it's an outdoor concert, get there early, enjoy some sun, enjoy your favorite music, and enjoy, uh, uh, enjoy the Lish product. So our final print ad, we wanted to incorporate both of these ideas within one single jar. So on our left we have, <laughs> on our left we have uh, obviously the tasty foods, but then on the right we also have the idea and the aspect that this product lets you live your life the way you want to live it and enjoy the and be able to enjoy the things that you want to enjoy because you now have the time. Basically, we wanted you to stop turning the pages. We were trying to come up with it, and we're like, okay. What's something that people would stop turning pages for? Because everything you flip through, and you're like, okay, that's normal, that's normal, that's food. And you go, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> that's what we wanted you guys to see. It's like, what is that? And then if it creates curiosity, then it may drive you to a, um, our brand page and create buzz. 
These are just some magazines that we would have the print ad in. Okay, so on to our uh, next creative. So we, instead, instead of just having traditional billboards, which we have a few billboards, we wanted to do a series of murals, pop art murals. We hire um, uh, artists around different urban areas and have these murals, which are in a sense critiques of like modern society. As you can see, this is one of Banksy's. So we have murals based off this because in essence, our product is a critique of the modern TV dinner. And what these, we were hoping is that people would see these and they'd see our hashtag, Mixed Right Live Right underneath and they have a sense of curiosity of what it is and they can, they can, have a, they can go on our social media pages and, and see bios about the artists and why they chose to create these pop art images and just kind of create more um, news feed to our pages. All right, now we're going to delve into our social media campaign. This is our app. Uh, what it allows you to do is it allows the consumer to punch in exactly what delish product they had that day. So uh, whatever option, like the option just chill. And when you do that, what will come up is all the nutritional aspects of that product. But what's unique about our app is that it will also say what else you need the rest of the <coughs> day to keep a healthy, um, a healthy diet, a balanced diet. And this app isn't necessarily about pushing sales. Um, it's not gonna be like, oh, you enjoyed uh, option A for lunch, how about option B for dinner? It's not gonna push a delish product. It just wants to give you tips on how to live healthy and what, what's the proper thing to consume. We're gonna move into our Instagram campaign where we like to hold a contest of photographing people with their delish and the person with the most interesting place with their delish would win two concert tickets or two tickets to go on a hot air balloon. Uh, we also want to have an Instagram page where we talk about do, doing, living, and eating and sort of just driving more content there. Uh, our events page, we're going to host premier tastings and concert showcases. Concert showcases are, we're going to invite people to go to an independent concert with an independent band. And then the premier tastings will be at upscale retailers at, such as Whole Foods. Then we're also going to have our hang gliding event, which is a promotional event with a delish symbol on the bottom. We're going to have a Twitter, which is going to drive mix right, live right. And then this is our social media schedule based off of Forbes analytics study. So a quick go over our media schedule, we'll open up with our website in the first quarter and our blog um, as well, and then continue with our other social media news feeds. Our online video will be posted on um, YouTube, our Facebook, and other, uh, and our, as well as our website. Um, we're going to do several trade and consumer promotions, as well as billboard, um, uh, magazine, and mural ads. And we'll also have our newsletter, and we'll be purchasing Google search words to have our product pop up more. Uh, our business plan is in the first two years, we expect to um, not show a, a positive revenue, but by our third year, we expect sales to reach 2.25 million. Um, our product will be retailing at 7.75. Um, this is a graph of, you can see the trends of our marketing will maintain the same and our income by the third year will see a positive. Uh, these are some of the available retailers that you'll find our product. Um, Places like gyms like Equinox, Robex, Ralph's, um, Gelson's Market, Bristol Farms, Whole Foods. And so just to reiterate here, just some consumer trade promotions that we're going to do. We're going to be at farmer's markets, and consumers have the option of bringing back old empty jars to be recycled, and they'll receive 50 cents off their products. We'll also be at outdoor concerts with food stands. And just we'll still do the traditional things, such as in-store samples and um, iPad apps. And this is just something for the retailer. There's the option of doing an exclusive with Delish um, and being mentioned in our social media and uh, potentially being product placed in our films. So th this is just some incentives for our retailers. <laughs> How big is the market? Oh, 
Oh, um, we said that the first year that we would retail 720,000 um, units between um, both uh, direct and retail sale and indirect sales. Okay. That sounds like a very small fraction of the total market that's out there. Um, well, we're going to be beginning um, regional, and by our third year, we'll have grown to be national. We thought we'd focus on California, both um, all of California, just to grow and expand our our, our brand. Really relates to like the kind of culture of California, and so we thought that since California is a really influential state and um, all the cities that it has, that then we could then begin expanding through. Um, US. So I, I just have to ask, did you ever think that someone's going to see the arms in with the food and then that's going to cause people to think there's something strange about that? <laughs> we did. <laughs> Eat arms. <laughs> we thought the idea was really cool and then we made it and go, mm, that looks a little off, um, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but we wanted to, I mean, I mean, how would you, how would you describe it? I mean, it's one? different. I mean, someone's still going to be like, what is this? So it's still eye-catching, whether they're confused as to why there's body parts and food. Obviously, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be feeding people hands. But, you know, I mean, it does. it's it's attention-grabbing. I mean, there, we'd have other, I'm sure we'd have other campaigns. We have a few but. other print ad campaigns um, that involve more of just athletic things that uh, we have one where, it's people doing different exercises and their whole entire body is composed of different ingredients in the product. Um, so maybe we should have gone with that one. But <laughs> 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 well, we'll do that for next month. <laughs> um, I was just wondering, so you decided on a glass jar. And you wanted to evolve portable, but you didn't really talk until the end about the recycling of it. Oh. Is it meant to be no pun intended, green, like is that one of its attributes? Yes, I, I believe you mentioned that um, if you, when you bring our, we, we want people to, we want to do direct sales. We know that it's not possible to reach them like it is if it were in another retailer. But um, if you bring the jar back to our farmer's market stands or our event stands, they actually get a discount on their product. So it is to be green. Um, plastic's cheaper, but glass is better. It, you can use it again. So we can clean it, like say in the facility and reuse it. It was just one of the things that maybe in the beginning you, like you talk about, but you know what I mean? Because yes. it feels like that's one of the big attributes. Otherwise, it feels like glasses. Right. <laughs> so, uh, how widely could you test the proposition of mixed right, live right? Because it sounds a little bit like a religious networking group. <laughs> <laughs> struck me looking at your audience and looking at the age and the type of people. Safeway's you know, not very, you know. Right. Where you, Safeway's where you would find the traditional um, TV dinner. Right. So I'm just curious why like why you thought of Safeway. I guess because it's like a major retailer in NorCal, kind of like the Rouse is big in Southern California. Okay. So I guess that's why we chose it. Um, it's just a huge retail retailer <coughs> in Northern California. Okay, we need to move to team number two. Uh,